Hey there, how's it going? Did you like that new intro? Changed it up a little bit. Added some music. I actually wrote the music there. You just heard. Okay, today I'm going to show you all how you can make your Android phone look like a Windows Phone 7 phone. It's very simple, actually. So here, I have a Samsung Galaxy S2 with AT&T. These are the apps you are going to need. You are going to need Messaging Metro Beta, which is free and runs on 2.1 and up. Windows Phone 7 Dialer Lite, which is also free. Status Bar Plus Lite, free. Z Player, which actually costs $3.20, but I'll show you how to get it free. Windows Phone Contacts Lite, uh, that is free too. And Launcher 7, which is free as well. All of these will work on Android 2.1 and up. So let's begin. If you don't already have a home changing app, I recommend you download one. The one I use is called Home Manager. It's very useful. Right here. It shows you all the different launcher applications you have. It has an ad, but it's okay. It doesn't get in the way that much. So the first thing you're going to have to do is open up Launcher 7, which is right here. So here it is. Now it looks like Windows Phone 7. You can see it's got all the tiles and you swipe to the right and get all your applications. Uh, if you hit the letters, it shows you all the different uh, letters of applications that you use. The ones that are lit up, like you can see I don't have any applications to start with K. And then you can click on any of them and it will take you to all the applications to start with that letter. So you can see it's uh, very good actually it works very well if you hold down on a tile it'll pop up and then you can move it around and edit it and stuff you can move them wherever you want pretty much and just tap and it'll go down there put it back here uh, if you hit the little uh, icon in the left hand corner of the tile it'll bring you to a new menu and then you can edit it and change it you can uh, change the title and change the application, change the tile color, um, change the icon, and then, uh, like right there, I got this as an email, so it'll show you how much emails you have unread right here. Do that. Uh, you can do that with phone, too. Go down here, and it'll um, tell you how many missed calls you have right on the tile. Okay, so the next application I'm going to show you is called Windows Phone 7 Dialer. It comes up on your phone as Windows Phone 7 Phone right here. Uh, this app is pretty simple. It just shows all of your um, call history and uh, dialer and contacts with Windows Phone 7 theme. Uh, the three little things down here at the bottom, the one on the right, goes to a list of contacts. I'm not going to go to it because has all my contacts on there that's personal stuff in the middle you have a, a dialer you can type in your phone number whatever and then um, the bottom left it goes to your voicemail and then here it just shows all your call history over on the very far right there's uh, three little dots for the settings uh, you can delete all of them and uh, go to about and then you can buy the actual the full version uh, the next app here is called Windows Phone 7 Contacts or Windows Phone Contacts Lite right here so you can see it brings you to the same sort of menu as uh, Win uh, Launcher 7 where it lights up all the contacts to start with the letter uh, you can click them and it'll go to your contacts I'm not going to do that and just the same reason as before it has all my personal contact information on there so this is what it would look like if you had all your contacts here. I just have it set for favorites, but I don't have any favorites, so it's not showing anything. Uh, it would just show you all your contacts listed here. And go over to groups. This also has a dialer and a uh, call history. So this app pretty much does everything that uh, Windows Phone Phone does. But it's still pretty cool. Uh, this next app is called 
uh, messaging Metro Beta. This is free, right here. This is a simple uh, messaging app. It'll uh, show it all in Windows Phone 7 theme. So, uh, the bottom right, you have another little dots for the settings. Go to settings, and you can uh, you can change the color, but I don't think you really can because you have to buy the full version for you to change the color. So it just comes with it automatically blue. And then some other settings here. Uh, in the bottom of the middle, you can click the plus to make, type a new message. Let's not type it to anyone, but let's just see what it would look like. Hi there. Two. Zero. So that's what it would look like. And see if, uh, if a zero were to text me back, which I doubt would, because zero is not a person, it would pop up on the left side and it would be blue as well. And then you can just keep on typing and texting. So that's that app. That's how that works. Pretty cool. Uh, this next app is called uh, Z Player. It uh, costs uh, $3.20 in the Android market or uh, Google Play, whatever they're calling it now. Right here, the Z Player. Pretty cool. It uh, basically shows um, all your music and uh, your videos and, and podcasts and radios and cloud, but I only use it for music and videos. I do use it. So you can go here to your music and then it'll show you all, all your music. You can swipe over and see all your stuff. And then uh, you can go to videos too and you can see all your videos and music and movies and all and stuff. So that's pretty cool. It's a very neat app. Uh, if you go to your videos, let's just click on this video I made. It gives you a, a player, a video player. Windows Phone 7 style. You can see this is a video I shot of a train. But that's pretty cool. Change the volume and it just it's up there. So uh so if you were gonna go into your contacts or any app that has a status bar, you can see that it changes it. Now uh in uh Launcher 7, you can go into the settings, Launcher 7 settings, and change the status bar to a, a Windows Phone 7 style status bar right here. I just like that because it looks cool. But if you're uh, in like another app like Messaging, it uh, goes back to your default one that uh, comes with your phone. So to change this, you're going to need another app called Status Bar Plus Lite. It is free also. Let's go to it. So just switch it on. And there, now any app you go to automatically has the Windows Phone 7 styled status bar. So now if we go to messaging, you can see it's still Windows Phone 7 style. It just displays the time though. It doesn't show any other information like uh, Launcher 7. You can see in Launcher 7 it shows the uh, Wi-Fi and battery life and your signal strength. It doesn't do that in the other apps, but it's okay. It's still pretty cool. Uh, this next app I'm going to show you is called is a, a keyboard app. It is called AI Type Keyboard. I have the plus version, but there is a free version out there on the uh, market. So let's go there. So here, uh, just uh, download the free version. And then once that's down, done downloading, go into your settings, language and keyboard, and then find AI type, enable it, uh, go here, and go to appearance, keyboard theme, And then you can use uh, this one is Windows 8 tablet theme. That's the one I use. Or you can just use Windows Phone 7. Uh, so these are two different themes that will make it look like a Windows Phone 7. Okay, keyboard. so all of these apps were free, 
as you just saw, except for Z Player. So to get Z Player free, you can uh, go to a website called Four Shared and get it for free right here. Four Shared, just type in Z Player. Uh, the first one works, I think. And then just uh, once the download link appears, uh, just download it and uh, install it, and you'll have uh, Z Player. So <clears throat> that's about it. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, see you later. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's Brock, and today I'm going to be unboxing the PlayStation Vita.